In this video, Cletus lets her rip Tater Chip in the C7. I don't know if he's trying to blow that thing up at this point or what. And he also takes his car to the bottom of 7th gear, which is quite stupid. Probably bad for the engine, but let's get to it. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Cletus McFarlane YouTube channel. Cletus and Cars, April 22nd, Bradenton, Florida. More information in the description below. Welcome back everyone. Today we are just talking about something kind of random and honestly a little stupid in my opinion, but I get asked all the time about my C7's manual transmission, which is a seven speed. And just for the guys who might research this, this is a base model C7, it is not a Z51. So we've got the seven speed manual and everyone always wonders about that seventh gear. So as exciting as it seems to most, having seven gears is kind of cool, but for me, it's pretty useless. For these cars, the fourth gear is a one-to-one -one gear ratio. Fifth, sixth, and seventh is overdrive, obviously. And the seventh gear, I think, is all the way down to 0.42 to one. So people oftentimes ask me, they're like, how fast can you go in seventh gear in this thing? And I'm like, well, I've really only had it to the top of fifth since I've owned it. And even if I got to the top of six, more than likely if I shifted into seven, it would not keep accelerating. It would either hold it or maybe even decelerate. To get this car to the top of seventh gear, given the fact that it's a 0.42 to one ratio, it would have to have some extremely strong parts and a lot of power. So usually after I tell someone that I don't use seventh gear to go freaking 200 miles an hour, it's more of a sixth gear job, they ask, well, how slow can you go? I normally only use seventh gear when I'm going 60 miles an hour because it keeps me out of a drone range. I've made this car so loud with the headers and exhaust and pro charger that when you're going 60 miles an hour, seventh gear keeps it pretty quiet. And in addition to that, when I'm going 40 miles an hour, I use sixth gear. Corvettes, you can hold a really low RPM and it stays super smooth. They don't buff, they don't do anything crazy like that. Now, if I'm going 60 and seventh gear, it keeps me out of the drone range, but it can also go a lot slower than that. It does get a little loud, but these cars stay so smooth when they're really low in the RPMs, even in such a high gear. So we're gonna find out today how slow my freaking Corvette can go in the bottom of seventh gear. super quiet, good gas, but it starts to get louder. So when I get up to like 40 miles an hour, put it in six, and it's like nice and silent. The car is really smooth. If I need to accelerate, I don't really have much power, but it keeps the car quiet and it's still very drivable. All right, so I'm gonna try and early shift it into seventh here. Go to fourth, speed up. Go to six. That's really low for sixth right there. But the car, I mean, it just handles it no problem. And then seven, and the car is barely running. So I, I don't even have my foot on the gas right now. The car is literally idling and is holding 35 miles an hour. It's still, I think it's gonna drop down to 34. Yeah, 34. So the car is idling right now. I don't even have my foot on the gas. And it is just holding 33 miles an hour, oh, back up to 34. And that there is how slow you can go in seventh gear without the car just stalling on itself. Oh, it's actually dropping again. So that's what my car holds for idle. And then here, let me hit the gas, see how it accelerates. Wow, very slow acceleration. You can't hear the exhaust at all. It's so low in the RPM that the car is just nice and quiet, which is a blessing when you drive this car around all day because it's so freaking loud sometimes with the headers and exhaust and it just drones. So seventh gear in this car is kind of useless for what it's meant for in terms of going 80 miles an hour and hopping into that 0.42 to one overdrive, which really drops your RPMs. But for me, it brings it into a drone range. So. Realistically, I can only use seventh gear when I'm going 60 miles an hour. So I know that was a really stupid video and I can't just end it without doing a pull. So I'm gonna turn around here 
and let it rip tater chip for at least a second. All right, this is gonna be first gear. It's probably gonna spin.